Hi, my name is Natish Kumar from Loan Market in Canberra, and I'm joined by Michael Miller from Wealth Market. As promised, as part of our educational videos for first home buyers, we're going to talk about one of the schemes available from the federal government today, which is the First Home Buyer Super Saver Scheme. Michael, would you be able to tell us a bit more about that scheme? Sure thing, Natish. So, the First Home Super Saver Scheme, it lets you withdraw extra voluntary super contributions. So it's not what your employer has to put in, but any extra that you put in there uh, on top of that uh, to fund the purchase of a first home. So you have to be buying uh, your first property. You can't have owned one prior. Um, and contributions made from the 1st of July, 2017 uh, are eligible. You can contribute up to $15,000 a year per person. So it's worth considering that if you are buying as part of a couple, you, these limits are effectively doubled um, and you can use pre-tax super contributions. So that's what people uh, often refer to as salary sacrifice. And that's where you can often get a fairly substantial tax saving. You, and you can accumulate in that scheme up to $30,000 per person. So once again, for a couple, $60,000 in total. Now, Natish, there's a lot of rules around it, but the best yep. way we find to explain it is just to use an example and a bit of a case study. So we've got here uh, Kelly, she's a recent graduate. Uh, she's got a salary of $65,000 a year, and she's gone through and worked out, she's done her budget. You know, she can save $375 a fortnight out of her wages to put towards that deposit for her first home. Um, so. You know, stop and say good work uh, Kelly that's actually saving 20% of her income um, Kelly can actually salary sacrifice $575 a fortnight uh, into her super now that reduces her pay by $377 a fortnight so you know, excluding the little sort of $2 difference there it's pretty much the same as what she was going to be able to save anyway so that would reduce uh, kelly's pay by 377 dollars fortnight so that's pretty much the set yep. 375 she already worked out she could save you know, yep. give or take the two dollars there um, but what's happening there is kelly super she's putting that money in before tax there is a small contributions tax that comes out of it but even after that contributions tax her super is growing by 488 dollars a fortnight so after two full financial years, if Kelly had have just taken that money, got paid at a salary uh, and saved that in the bank, she would have saved $19,500. But with that first home super saver scheme, by making the super contribution and reducing her income tax, um, she's actually grown her account by $25,376. Yeah, wow. Now that's not assuming that that money is in there in super sort of earning any sort of investment return it's just from the tax difference if she did, then turned around and withdrew that there is a small tax it's about eleven hundred dollars that would be deducted so kelly actually has just through the use of that scheme about an extra four thousand seven hundred dollars for her deposit so without changing much she's saving another nearly five thousand dollars extra by contributing the same towards it that's right and if buying as a couple obviously it's double that saving as well if you are thinking of buying your first home, not quite sure how to save a deposit, get in touch with Michael and myself today and we can give you a helping hand with it.